If you are looking to migrate from Magento 1 or 2 to Shopify, this video is for you. At Optimum 7, we've done thousands of migrations like this and we understand the data process. We push everything, including your products, customers, orders, options, through the API and we validate this data. This way, you don't have any broken pages, you don't have any broken data, since the database structures of Magento and Shopify are different. One of the most essential things that you should not forget is the 301 redirects. At Optimum 7, we include this in our migration process, since it's key that you don't lose sales, organic visibility, or conversions. Watch the rest of the video to see at what level we do a migration like this. This documentation shows migration from BigCommerce to Shopify, but it's essentially the same documentation that we've created for all the different platforms. The steps might change, the details might change, the API might change, but the process remains the same. So if you look at the BigCommerce to Shopify process here, as you can see, we have database com commands, we have migration commands, and we have the entire URL structures and everything uh, because different platforms have different URL structures and the different special characters, limitations. There are so many exceptions, right? Not only that, if you look at our GitHub account, uh, on GitHub, we have done these migrations before. So we have full code on how we validate the products, the customers, the orders, how we tie them together, how we process HTML. If you have HTML on your product pages on BigCommerce that need to move over to Shopify. Now, BigCommerce and Shopify manage options and variables differently, right? There is actually some sort of limitation on Shopify with your options, uh, where you cannot have unlimited options. So we evaluate all of this information through our code because we've done this thousands of times. And if you look at this, you'll see all kinds of uh, migration processes here. And every single piece of code basically makes sure that we validate this information through the API. This is not an export import of a CSV file. You cannot do migration for a website that does millions of dollars annually through an automated software. The software is not going to validate any of this. Now, if you want to look at the documentation, there's a more detailed documentation that we have here. It has all these types of manual links. It has the different exceptions based on, you know, what you can do on BigCommerce, but what you cannot do on Shopify, vice versa. Again, character limitations, the special characters, the errors um, that you might have. And we do all of this through our process here. As you can see, this is a very, very detailed execution. Uh, why do we do it this way? Because it's very important that you don't lose organic ranks and you don't get 404s because your traffic is going to drop, your sales are going to drop. It's very painful. We have a lot of prospects that used automated software and the migration did not go well and they didn't work with an expert and they come back and they're like, well, we lost 50% of our traffic. We want, we lost 60% of our sales. So you don't want that to happen to you. The last thing is if you actually, again, go to optimum7.com forward slash migrations page, you will see, let me show you that really quickly. You will see a detailed checklist that you can download here, the 125 step platform migration checklist. And that checklist looks like this. It will help you throughout the process, you know, the platform selection, the planning, uh, the actual migration, the storefront, the backend, the checkout, the data, the integration, and anything that has to do with the marketing, social media tracking as well. I strongly suggest that you download this because it will help you plan your entire migration process. Now, of course, we want everybody to do their due diligence. You know, whenever you do this kind of migration, uh, look at examples, look at case studies of whomever you're going to work with. Um, I'll show you some from Optimum 7. You know, we migrated RC Superstore. It's the site that we worked on. Specialist ID, good counsel, teeth to your door, echo and close. And if you actually look at this, like what happened after the migration process, I think we migrated this site in 2016. I think we migrated this in 2017. You'll see the database growth in terms of organic visibility. So their metrics have actually improved because Whenever you do a platform migration, you want to go to a speed and mobile first uh, website and you have to pay attention to the, to the mobile usability metrics and you have to make certain improvements to design. And from a conversion standpoint, you have to implement certain functionalities like search and filter. And this is all an effect of that uh, because Google pays attention to how people, because everybody has analytics, Google pays attention to how your users and your customers interact with your website. 
Okay, so do your due diligence definitely to go through the process, but this is very, very important. Please, please make sure you do the 301 and redirects properly at the end. That's one of the most important aspects of this. You don't want to lose your ranks. You don't want to lose money. You don't want to lose the authority that you've worked so hard to build. Uh, and if you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you. I hope that this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at Optimum7.com. You can always email info at Optimum7.com or click the link below. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos on marketing, e-commerce, custom development, and much more. Plus, new episodes of Surge, our weekly e-commerce and digital marketing podcast released every Wednesday.